Bonjour à tous, Privet, Konnichiwa. So welcome back again and then in today's discussion, we're talking about how to design something like this, right? Your own personal website, something like this, which is very simple, just like a landing page. It is very simple. So as you scroll down, you see that there are different pictures, you can even click on this and then to just move you to this place, right? With contact, very, this is a very simple, single website that you can create for yourself. Okay, and then one nice thing about it is that like as you change the the window size, you see that the image is still not becoming bad, right? The image is still resizing with your web page, which is quite nice. And then you can still scroll down and everything is working perfectly, right? Okay, so I'll be showing you how to do something like that in the next few minutes, right? Okay, so first of all, let's start. You will need some pictures, so you can just go to free stocks pictures, right? Then this is a website, then you can search for any web picture that you want. So let's say web design, and then you can get several pictures that you want to use, right? You can even search for fashion if you want to use something about fashion or something nice. Okay, so like there are several pictures you can use. We can even use something like this, which is quite nice. Then you save it, right? So there are several images that you can use. So let me change it to my image. So, so that's the first thing you need. And then let's move on. So first of all, let's start with system. Let me stop my browser. Yep. So I'll create a folder. So first of all, I'm going to create a folder on the desktop, and then I'm going to use that folder to do that. So back, back, back. Okay. Now let's create a folder so that our work becomes nicer. So I'll create this folder, and I'm going to call it my website. So my website. Right, that's the folder I'm going to call. So you just create a folder, right? Then inside the folder, you just use your test editor. So you open this folder, then you with this one, so I can just open it with my test. This sublime I'm using, you can download it on Google. Then I go to open folder. I'm going to navigate to this my folder, which is my website. Okay, then close this. Now, so I'll be making I'll make it in such a way that you'll be able to see what you are doing. So first of all, we need an index.html file. So I'm going to save it as S index. Every website must have that. So index, let me come back to my website. Every website must have the index, right? Index.html. The extension should be HTML, which is very important. Okay. So now see that has come here, right? So there is nothing there, so I start with HTML, right? Now I'm going to call it my personal website. Let me increase the size so that you can see it well. My personal website, right? I hope it's clear enough. So now it is open perfectly. So I can open it with any browser that I have. So let me use Chrome to open it. Chrome is so cool. Okay. So you see that there's nothing there. But you see that my personal website is at this point, right? Let me close this one because I'm no more using it. And then now let's move it. Let me resize it. So that we see what you are doing simultaneously. Okay. Perfect. So now that is it. So the first thing to do is that you're supposed to put the some stuff to it. So what I'm going to call it meta. So this meta is going to be something that's going to help this scale. It's, you can do without it, it's going to work, but it's important that you do it in this way. So viewpoint, and then you go to content. Then inside this content, I'm going to put the width side. So the reason is that sometimes we have different devices like phones and all those things, so that to be able to use work with it well, right? Then I'm going to call it as my initial scale. So initial initial scale, right? Then I'm going to call it 1.7, right? Okay. So that's the first thing to do. See that still there's nothing working. So let me open it with my CD desktop. Sorry for this. CD my website. Okay. Okay. Now so light seven. The reason I'm using this one is to help it to be running so that I can still be doing it without refreshing, refreshing it. Okay. 
it's going to automatically open for me now after that so that, that's the first thing to do right so the next thing you need will be you need to get a uh, fonts now I'm going to change to here to this to the same thing my there's nothing there so whatever I'm going to put here it's going to come see so if I do something like this uh, hello so that is going to appear here right? as hello that's the first thing to do so now first of all let's design the basic website then we see what you can do with it so first of all we're going to call it as a header every website must have a header right it must, it must have a head the first thing and it must have a body so inside the body is where you're going to put everything that you want to put there so first of all we want to design something like what we're doing so i'm going to put header there in the header i'm going to call it as i'm going to give it an id identification the id is going to be let's say london london page right you can make, name it as a now then inside this place i'm going to name it as h2 for my welcome to my s now page right so if i refresh it that is going to appear here welcome to my personal page right then the next thing i'm going to put is going to be to learn how to design a okay design website with ease so it's like it's going to refresh and then it will come nice so we have we are done with the first aspect so we are done with the head now let's do some other things too so let's create our section so the sections are going to be the divisions it's going to be right so section and i'm going to call this I'm going to be id i'm going to call this section one right that's going to be my first session and then inside this my first session i'm going to put random test so the random test i'm going to put is going to be something like something i'm going to just create some random test so If you are using you can just put anything there so that's where i'm going to, I'm going to put my test right it's going to be just random test and i'm putting there that's going to generate this random test that's the first thing to do now i've created my first session now let's create another session again so i can just create another session by going with this so section right and i'm going to call this session my session two so id then section two session two right so inside my session 2, I'm going to add another image. So I'm going to make it like div. Inside this div, I'm going to create maybe an h2. h2 means like the header 2, right? So it's going to make it bold. So I'm going to call it a web development. So you see that it's going to appear here, right? Web development, nice. And then I'm going to add another thing to it. So it's going to be something that is going to be a link that when i click on that link it's going to move me to another place right so i'm going to call it as a say web i'm going to call it as a, our services right our services so it's going to come as this now perfect it's working perfectly so after this i can link it to something here so what i'm going to link is i'll show you what i'm going to link it to i'm going to create another session and this session is where I'm going to link this one to, right? So I'm going to call it as uh, ID, and I'm going to call it as my section three, right? So I'm going to put this session three here to this place. So before that, see that this is an ID. So anytime you see an ID, you should realize that this goes with hashtag, right? Identification. So this. So if I close, save it, and I click on it, it's going to shift me to that. So because there's nothing, you're not going to see anything. So after that, let's create some division smaller division and i'm going to call it my class i'm going to call it as mini boss right mini boss one let's call it mini boss one right and i'm going to put my services here so that you see what i'm talking about so l for on that list and i'm going to call it as uh, this let's call it h2 and i'm going to call it services so it's like it's coming there nice I'm going to put some test there. So what I'm going to put there is going to be like this. Then I'm going to call it let's say what are our services? We do web design. We do uh, let's say web de uh, graphic design. 
design what again do we do let me copy this one so that we can print it so that's something i'm going to do we do what, what website design web design we do photoshop photoshop right then something very maybe we also do app mobile app right mobile app development so that's thing so if i'm going to decide i'm going to list them perfectly so let me increase this one and make it let me create three of this one so this is going to be two this is going to be three right and this i'm going to call this one our product products then our product is going to be let's say what we have we have apps we have videos let's say we have ebooks we have tutorials and then we have let's say software right any internet soft software so it's going to add that one to it right it's going to be as our product and then this one i'm going to talk about maybe let's say our resources and then let me leave it like that so our resources right these are our main resources so so something like this right so so now we are done with it perfect now it's not it's okay but it's not nice like that so we can make it such a that it becomes nicer so as i said when i place this href here and i link it to this so anytime i click on this it's going to move to this one right that is one thing so let us change it from here so let us change it here let me refresh it and see so you see what i'm talking about okay nice now we are finished with the basic design of the website now let's add some one last thing to it to make it interesting let's add another section the section i'm going to add to it is going to be uh we're going to call it section three right is this is three or section four okay let's call it session four right so this session four is going to be our contact h2 and then i'm going to call it contacts contact us right that's going to be our session session two so we'll be placing some other things there so after doing that so let's move on straight away okay now we are done with this now let's add some styling to it to make it more beautiful so i'm going to create another file new file and i'm going to save it as my styles so my styles dot css right then i'm going to add link it to this place so to link it i'm just going to go with link and i'm going to refer it to this place right that this way is my style so i'm going to put here my my styles dot css right so whatever i'm going to do inside and now it is linked to this page so whatever i'm going to do here is going to be seen there but the first one i'm going to add is let me add some margin to it margin and i'm going to call it as my margin is going to be zero because i don't want i do i want the entire page to have no distance so margin is going to be zero i'm going to add some small padding to it padding and i'm going to call it my pattern that's going to be zero two right okay nice perfect so that has shifted it well don't worry it's going to become better now the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to go with we had our landing page here right so header landing page we're going to start our landing page i'm going to call it as my header or i can just go to the without calling it as header and just go with landing page and then page then i'm going to put my background image so let's save some image so we have we can go to this box free stock images and then we can just save this image with them right so we're using any of them okay so back to uh, what we're doing now so first of all i'm going to call it background image background image then the background goes with an URL, and then URL is going to lead me to where the image is right so the image you're going to be using is let's say web design so web design dot jpeg I mean, I do that that is going to appear here right but it's small it's quite small very, very small it's not as big as that so how are we going to make it more bigger so we can just go with this so let's work it back on position and i'm going to center it and then it's like it's being centered well so it is perfect centered right well and then let's check again some other things we can also do 
which has some background size to it. So all these things that you are seeing here is going to appear. So I go back again to background. So I'm, I'll be pissing it from this one, which is very nice. I'm going to call it that's all right. Now the next thing I need is height. So I need height to add so that to be able to see the entire height. So I'll be using 100 pixels. If I do 100 pixels, it's going to be big, but you can't see it as big, right? This is okay, but it's not the best way. In case you want, you can make it like 500. Then it's going to spread it well, right? But this method is better, but it's not the best. So the best way is instead of using 100, I just use 100 VH, not not PS. PS is for pixel, but VH is the view height, right? So when I do it like that, it's going to still work perfectly for us. Nice. So that means, in this case, when I shift it up and down, like this, it's still going to be picking the same size without changing it, right? But in case it was this, it was PS, PS, right? And then let's make it even 500. When I shift it, it will, make, it will see that it is working, but over time, it's not going to be working perfectly. So the best one is to use this one. Right now, nice. So let me bring it here. Okay. So after that, let me add some other things to this. So I'm going to for display. We want to bring this thing here, this word here, into the center, right? So first of all, I'm going to align. It. So let's call it a test align center, right? And then after aligning it, let's Align all the items inside to so all the items between all these things as center. So when I do that, it's going to push it here, right? That is nice. So let's push it. You can't see it well, but just push it here, right? Okay, nice. Now another thing I can also do is I can rather add some display to it, which is for the flex. So when I go with flex, and then I'm going to call it as flex direction. So flex is a it's a method of it's part of CSS. It is very useful. I'm going to call it columns. There are several of them. Nice. Okay. Now after that, let me justify the content. So justify content. I'm going to call it as center. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some padding to it. So 0 0.2 pixels, right? So that has come down. So I've justified the content to be center, and then now it is perfectly working. But this one is too small. So let's make it bigger. So to do that now, I'm done with the landing page. The image is done already. I can one one thing I can also do that since we have we want to put many images right inside, right? There was we want to put another image here, right? In the web development, I can just this is session, right? Session two. I can just copy this one and then use it as for the next one. Right? So I can just do it like this. Copy this entire stuff here and then change this one from this to section two. No section two, right? It's like this name. Section no section one rather. No section one? No session two rather. <laughs> okay, session two. So if I save it and I go back, yeah, the images is going to appear too. Right, so let's change this image and use a different image. The image you're going to be using is, uh, let's say, let's use Mark 2. So when I change it, now, wow, see that now we have our first image as Mark, and then this image is going to be Mark 2. So we are done with the images. Now let's do some, making this one more better and nicer. So let me bring this one down. Let's work with all the things inside. So first of all, I'll be checking for my landing page. Inside my landing page, there is an H here. There is this H here. Right? This H. So I want to style this H and this P inside this. So I'm going to call it as H. Plus H2. I'm going to add a font size and some padding to so font size. Font size, um, let's make it like 70 so that it becomes bigger. And then let's add some color to it. Color I'm going to use is blue because blue is cool. And I'm going to add some line height to it. The line height is going to make sure that the line inside there is the height between them is perfect, right? It doesn't misbalance. 
1.2 and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some test shadows so let's see what we have done that wow that's become bigger right perfect but I want to add some shadow to it to make it bold so to do that I just add test shadow and then test shadow takes several arguments so two pixels as for the right then two pixels again then I see four pixels then I'm going to add a color to it so whatever color I want to add so I can add zero 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 that is going to be black so that now that added this shadow to it nice now we are done with this let's check again for the other one that is landing page for the P then I'm going to add some normal font size so it's going to be let's say 20 pixels then I'm going to add some color to it it's going to be blue right so perfect that's added some color to it nice so now let's see what we have done perfect so we are almost done with our website right perfect so now you're supposed to work with these ones so nice so even if i change it that as i change it it's, it's working it's still aligned perfectly no matter how big or small it is even if you're using it on a phone that is working perfectly it's not it's behaving right okay now let's see some other things we can also do we can now we are done with the first page you can also apply these same things to the second image right which we have web development so you can just copy this one and paste <laughs> it's better to copy and paste and then i'm going to bring it here and then instead of making it session landing page i'm going to make it session right so the same thing session two and then session session two okay this is supposed to be old so when i go back I refresh so that now it is working perfectly right with development with development nice so let me make this one white because the blue looks some good so let's make it white instead of blue so why did not do it here let's see right okay okay nice now we are done with the images now let's try and add some styling to it to make it more nicer there's one thing i can also add to here see that there is something here right i can add a button if when i click on it it just goes so to add a button we saw that from here we had this from here we had something called right our session here right i can even add an id to it and i got good called the id button so that's how it's going to be so i'm going to bring it here see that it was session there and then button right so I'm going to make it like this is going to be session and I'm going to call it that was a button so a button session 2 session 2 button and then I'm going to add some button to it so the button I'm going to add, I'm going to add some border to it border then I'm going to add one pixel solid then blue so I'm going to add some something around it mm. Let's see what we are doing that you're not doing well okay session three. Oh, it is rather session it's, it is rather session two button right session two just id not class perfect so let's add something around it so let's add some more stuff to it so i'm going to add some padding to it i'm going to call it 10 pixels to add some margin 10 pixels i'm going to add some border radius radius i'm going to call it as let's say five pixels when i do it like that so i just added some border radius to it now there's this link here i want to move it up so i can just pack it like this instead of it a and then i'm going to change it from uh, okay. so let me change it to just a line integration now to, to remove the underlining stuff from it okay now just go perfect now let's add some the radius was five 
other videos let's make it other videos let's see ten okay nice okay now that is one one thing you can do now let's make it actually when you click on it it will change right so to do that i can just copy this one and then copy and paste like that okay i'm going to put it as over i'm going to change the color to change the color from the background color from the normal one to let's say blue i'm going to change the font the actual color of the stuff to white nice so when i click on it see i just change it perfectly right so when i click on it it's going to move to this place nice now let's work with these ones so to work with this the first one was services right and services was in section three right so we are now going to be working on section three i'm going to call it as section three then the section three had some things that way so, so i'm going to call it as display display and then i'm going to call it as flex right the moment i do it like that so that's going to shape the entire stuff that has shifted the whole thing perfectly but this is not the best way so I have to work on it well so i'm going to call this section three then i'm going to add a div to it to add some pattern to all the, all of them so pattern is going to be 20 pixels so that's added some pattern to it now i'm going to work on the mini bosses right this mini bosses so to work on it i'm just going to go with we have mini boss one two three that is class so class is going to go with the dot I'm going to call it this section three. Then I'm going to call it as class. So class would class mini boss one. Right. So let me repeat all these things. So two three. So I'm going to name this as mini boss one, mini boss two, mini boss three. Then I'm going to place my styling so i'm going to add pattern and I'm, the pattern is going to be 20 pixels then i'm going to add some test align so that it will justify the entire stuff the test align so we justify just like we do in a uh, word then i'm going to add some width to it so let's make it 30 percent you can even leave it without it it's so good to work okay then now the next thing i'm going to add is going to add some margin Imagine we do 10%, 10 pixels, and then the font size. Let's make the font size, let's say 20 pixels. So now it has become perfect. Now I can even add some color, I can even add background color to it. So to add background color to it, I can make it like one, I can specify it right to, to add some background color to it. I'm going to go with this. And then we add one, right? I'm going to add the background color. We'll say background. Background color. Let's add something like this. Can I do it like that? Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Give us one. Give us three. Let's see what is working. Okay, now we have this there. Okay, and this one, so I can add the, some of them to it. I can even add color, which is already there, already given. Okay, let's, let's make it uh, white. So let's see whether it was actually mini boss because mini boss one, mini boss two, mini boss three. So okay, we've seen it. Okay, now I'm perfect. See that that's more comma. And add another one. So mini dot mini box three, right? Perfect. Now it's working nice. So let's see. And it's okay, but you can still make it more better. By adding, let's add some padding to it. 
ada yang menulis sih itu enak oke okay, perfect it's not the best it's not some object as well okay it's still giving us a shift so let me do it this way now let's the next one I'm going to do let's let's make it such a that it is going to work well without giving us that issue right so perfect we have done something like this now let's work on adding some color to this place right some some dark color to this one so this one was section section one wow and, and session let me add Yes, add session one to it. Session one. So let's add background color to it. The background color is going to be. And then the color is going to be white. Right? It's five, and then this one is two, two, two. Two, two, two is for black. Perfect, right? Then let me add some pattern. Ten pixels, then margin. Five, five pixels. Okay, I'm going to take it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. Now we can go. Okay, now our website is becoming interesting. Now let's do the last final thing so that should be done with it. So. The last thing we're we'll doing is we can change the H2 right, for this one. Section 3 H2. I want to make it as a font. Let's, let's make it 20 pillars. Let's add some padding to it so that it becomes the same. Okay, now let's do the this one. I don't know why it's becoming like that. This record the links. For the things, I'm going to make it harder. Okay, nice. It's becoming better. Nice. Okay, and add the margin. The margin. Left. And right pillars. Okay, nice. Now it's better, right? Now it's a little bit better. Perfect. But it's not the best way. Perfect. So let's work on stone. So the next thing you can do apart from this is if you go to one thing that is why there's this place flex flex okay now let's go on to some other things the last one that is the last part of the page which is the contact us right so first of all to add us let's add something from font also font also right We'll be adding this thing to it to make it awesome. <laughs> going to be adding some this thing to it. So either you can just use this one or you can just get the CDN, which is the easiest way. Okay, either you can download it straight away and add it to it, or you can just go and use the CDN, right? The CDN is going to be here and just copy this one that is if you want the cdn straight away or you can just use google cdn so cdn yeah font awesome okay from bootstrap right so copy this one and go back to this and add it to my top of my page Add it here. So link. I'm going to put it here, right? Now I can add 
the rest to it. So here I'm going to be adding my Facebook contact stuff to it, right? So to do that, just going to make it in such a way that it becomes quite simple. So I'm going to call it a social box with it. Then I'm going to create one. Okay, ID. Social box, right? Social box one. That's all I'm going to do. And this idea, I'm going to create another day. I'm going to call this day. ID is going to flex one, right? Oops. <laughs> okay, then the last one is I'm going to add my I class. And the class is going to be where my image is going to be. So far, 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 far. Let's say. Far far is for font awesome, right? This font awesome, this thing that we had here, right? This far far. So I want this one. I want is Facebook. So Facebook. I'm going to put my Facebook like so. A ref. I'm going to add my ATPS. And here we go. Dot Facebook. Dot com slash J Karistek. So when I save it and I come back to this. That feel the Facebook logo has come right. That is nice. So now let me put Facebook here. Now we have Facebook here. Nice. So I'm done for Facebook. Now let's add the same thing for the rest. So I'll repeat this. Repeat this one for all of them. Two, three. So this is going to be Facebook. I'm going to make it a group for the my official website. So jcarrystake.wordpress.com I'm going to call it my website Website right Then the next one I'm going to call this, this one is going to be Facebook Instagram <laughs> Instagram Then Instagram Instagram jcarrystake so I'm going to call this one as Instagram. So you see that when I do that, it's adding them to it with Instagram, Facebook, and all this stuff. That's for the first one. Now let's make it for the second one, which is going to be another copy and paste. Now I'll make this one as two. I'm going to change this one from Facebook to WhatsApp. Let's make it Twitter. Twitter. Twitter, 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 <laughs> Twitter, and then I'm going to call this one as uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp, and then WhatsApp. I don't think I have WhatsApp email. <laughs> WhatsApp, what's WhatsApp? The last one is going to be Snapchat. Snapchat, right? Then snap. So we done with Snapchat. Up. Snapchat. Okay. Snapchat. So perfect. Now all of the images are going to come right as our Snapchat. Now that is nice. It is quite interesting. But it's lo loaded to one point, so I have to make sure that they are together. So how do I do that? I'm just going to go straight to CSS. Remember that here it was called the uh, social box, right? Social box session four. So I'm going to add that one to it and make it different. So that it to work perfect well, perfectly well. So I'm going to call it as social social session section what? Section four. Then let me add some padding to it. So add in twenty pixels. Color, let's make the color white, and let's make the background color black. Perfect, so it has changed it. The color is white now. Now, now let's work with our section. So section 4, right? Then, and I said before, we had some social box. Social, social, social box one, 
one and then let me repeat this one again right because the same thing share boss two then from here i'm going to add my display flex right now it's working on flex the flex is working now so that and the flex is working so now i'm going to add my this thing for the flex so flex one let me bring it up and call it pattern 10 pixels 10 times we know so i'll be rushing margin 10 pixels font size let's make it 20 then let's make the border the radius 5 let's add some border to it first before we add it one pixels solid black so when I do it like that still I'm going to change it perfectly nice right see that how it's going to be done then the next thing I'm going to do is so let's see let's see what we have done so far nice we have this, 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 and this, which is quite nice. But when you click on it, it's not showing anything. So let's make it in a better way. So I'm going to call it social box one. Okay, there's a hover on it. I'm going to put a hover on it, and then the hover is going to be it's going to change the background. The background when I hover on it, change the background to blue, then make the color. So when I see that I do like this. Plus one, so plus one. Oh, okay. So that is changing, but I want the entire stuff to change. So I can add it on the flex. Instead of on the distance, so I can make it instead of doing it like that, I just copy this one, paste it, and change this one from flex. Now, when I put it on this, now when I put it on this, it's going to change it. <laughs> wow, okay. So let us change it right perfect but i want to make this make sure that this is we can see this thing right so i can just remove the test decoration I see, I see, I made it class. <laughs> Shabu was <with> ID. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. <laughs> wow. Like this, and then this. Oh, oh. Now it's working. Nice. That's one thing about the web design. Sometimes you make some very simple mistake. Then you're supposed to go over. Then. Don't even need to do that. Yes, I've already done it here. So what I need to do here now is to move the test equation. Yeah, the whole. So test equation. The cool. And I can also I need like this. I want to take off this thing so that there's no more there. Then for the second one too, there's no more there. Right, so when I click on it, it's changing perfectly. Now I have to add uh, the background color again to this. Let me duplicate it here. 
If you are done with our website now, so that is changing perfectly. Quite good. So let's see what we have done so far. So now we have our website perfectly done. So this is how to quit just a simple website. And then when I click on this, I move back to my services, right? So I think I have to just position it well so that it becomes well. I can just do that by adding this thing to it for my section. Minibus for my mini bus, I can just add this one to it and then wait 30 percent. So let's see whether it's going to work. Okay, perfect. Now it's working perfectly. So now we are done with our website. So this is quite how to make a quite a simple website which is working very well. You can add more things to it. So that when I click on it, work. when I click on this, it's going to open to my Facebook page, right? Which is quite interesting. Sometimes you don't want it to open it directly in your Facebook page, you can make it in such a way that it goes like this. You bring target here. So target, then you put blank. Right, it doesn't open directly in your web page. So when I click on this, it's going to open a different page. Right. Okay. So thank you for staying with me. <laughs> thank you for staying with me for this long tutorial. Hope you have learned something. If you are interested, please, please let me know. And please don't forget to share. Stay blessed.